I love watching people. I love thinking about people. I love thinking about why we react the way we do. What makes us tick? And that's why I love writing. I love putting fun people in fun situations and just seeing what happens. My name's Brian Ricks. I'm from the Bay Area in California. During the day, I'm a PhD student in the BYU Computer Science Department. And at night, I'm a writer. When I write, I love leaving the rigor of the computer behind me and just writing with a pen and paper. I'm totally unconstrained. There's nothing but me and my pen. There's no spell checker, there's no margins. I can scribble notes, I can cross out words. I can even like sketch someone's face as I'm thinking about them in a story if I need to. And so fundamentally, I consider myself an artist. I love that creative part of life. And halfway through my computer science undergraduate, I realized that I needed something highly creative, and I began to wonder whether I was in the right major or not. I started exploring other options like journalism. There's a lot of writing there, a lot of creative artistic work goes into journalism. And I was rescued from this big crisis by BYU's mentored undergraduate program. I discovered, wow, computer science really is a creative process, especially when you're doing research. You have these really ill-defined nebulous problems and you have to find a really precise solution to them. BYU is the right place to be doing research right now. There's so many different professors doing so many different things. I could be researching automated unmanned robots for search and rescue missions, or the latest in encryption for emails for the government, for companies, for individual people, or building mathematical models of the Middle Eastern political crisis. The research I've chosen to do right now is crowd simulation. And as I started doing this research, it became really obvious that there was this big gaping hole. Everyone who had studied crowd simulation assumed that crowds are on more or less flat surfaces. But there were lots of surfaces I wanted to put people on that weren't flat, like people on a multi-story building or astronauts on an asteroid. Those aren't flat surfaces at all, and no one could do that. Crowd simulation is a critical part of the film industry, which means I get to work closely with BYU's animation department and students who are taking those classes. And together we build the most modern crowd simulation algorithms available. And it has the potential to have a great impact on the film industry. It has a potential to make a big impact on emergency planning. What happens if there's an emergency in a multi-story building or in a parking garage? We can answer these type of questions really precisely now with what we're doing. Working at BYU has been amazing because all the faculty are so invested in the students. Every time I pass a faculty in the hall, they know who I am, they ask me how I'm doing, how's my research going? When I have a question, I knock on the door, they stop what they're doing to help me figure it out. It's a wonderful field right now. It's absolutely booming. You can get a job anywhere in the country you want, working in whatever type of environment you want, with the type of people you want, because there's so many opportunities. People love BYU graduates. We're recruited heavily by all the major industry players. You, you name a major computer science company, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, they all come to BYU because they like the BYU graduates. They're very well rounded. They have a great understanding of what's going on in the field and they have great standards. What drives me every day is knowing that all my research is highly creative. The whole day I'm gonna be working in this creative endeavor and the results are gonna have a big impact. They're gonna have a big impact in film. It's gonna have a big impact in architecture. And then when I come home at night, I've got all these creative juices going and I'm gonna come home and write a story. And it's a miracle to me because I'm in computer science of all things and I have this amazing creative day.